What's going on guys? Welcome back to Undead Survivor. Here today I have a new tutorial video for you and it's something I wanted to do for a very long time. I have been doing this since, oh god I can't even remember, ever since The Amazing Spider-Man came out. But as you guessed it, I will be making the Spider-Man web shooter. Uh, I've been wanting to do this thing for years and it's just since I think I was like a not even a teenager, ever since The Amazing Spider-Man came out, when I saw Peter Parker making his homemade web shooters, that's when I actually did my research on Spider-Man, knowing that he didn't really have organic webs like Tobey Maguire, but he actually made his own web shooters, and that's how he got around, which made a lot more sense. Like, as a kid, I've just noticed some weird stuff, but yeah, it was it was just a gadget that he made just to get around the city. And it was a cool gadget because he used it to fight bad guys like Green Goblin, Doc Ock, uh, Scorpion, Kraven, all those characters. And he did that by creating a gadget that he built from his mind. And that's what I wanted to do. Instead of getting bitten by a radioactive spider and have random webs come out of my wrist. And no diss to all you Tobey Maguire fans, he was a great Spider-Man and how awesome was it for him and Andrew Garfield to come back to play Spider-Man again. And like I said, no disrespect on Tobey Maguire, he's a good actor and everything, but he... <laughs> just didn't really feel like Peter Parker to me. Andrew Garfield definitely was Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So I'm a Andrew Garfield fan. I think you all remember this little uh, gizmo right here from my previous video two weeks ago. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a hard process to build and I'm gonna show you guys step by step. That's why this is gonna be a part video and this will be part one. I um, There's some stuff I need to buy online to help finish the build, but it's gonna pay off in the end. So hopefully by the end of this year, or hopefully by the end of these videos, you guys will have a fully functional homemade CO2 web shooter. And one last thing, something I did forget to mention, uh, the reason why I am doing a texting while showing you how to build this because I tried to do voiceovers for all my past tutorial videos and they just sucked. I, I can't do them and it's kind of hard for me to speak from time to time, so I figured typing it out would be would make a lot more sense for you, and it would be easier on me to actually know what I'm saying to you guys. But step-by-step -step instructions, uh, it's going to be a pretty easy build, honestly. So without further ado, let's get to the build.
sadly I had to stop the video from there, but this is the best that we can do for today. Uh, I do need to buy some parts uh, online, but uh, it's going to be the most important part. So I feel like this would be a good stop, but this is what it should come out looking like. There's the hinge right there. That's going to be for the trigger. This little thing I like to call the stopper, it's going to prevent from your trigger to go up. And you may want to file this round so that way it doesn't cut you just in case. Not only that, you'll, you really want to file everything down the best you can so that way it doesn't hurt you. This piece right here is going to be for this huge hex nut right here. But like I said, we got to get some parts to come in. And it's probably going to be for another uh, video. Well, for part two. I'm not quite sure how many parts we're going to do. I think we're going to try to go for just part two. But um, that's as far as we can go for today. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's going to go right there. Actually, come to think, we probably might do a part three. So we'll finish the web shooter, and then we're going to make a uh, mount for it on your wrist. But that's the best it should come out as. This is like a huge step to building your web shooter. And um, it looks pretty cool, honestly. It looks like some sort of gadget. Again, I apologize for the video to be short, but I feel like this would be the best way to help you step by step because it's kind of a hard process and it took me years to do this. But I hope you guys like it. Thank you very much for watching Undead Survivor. I hope this video has helped you out so far. Uh, we got a couple more parts coming in, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Thank you very much for watching Undead Survivor, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Undead, out.